Hey Beatrice. Okay. Hi. How are you? <laughs> I'm fine. And you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Um, it's nice to see you. Uh, and um, so my name is Pete, first of all, because this is the first time, right? So um, maybe maybe people haven't uh, seen me before either. Um, <laughs> and I'm talking to my friend Beatrice. Do you want to uh, introduce yourself? Okay, so I'm Bia, Beatrice, and I have type 1 diabetes since I was six years old. And I have a blog called Bia Bética, and I live in Brazil, and that's it. <laughs> and the beauty of technology, right, in many, many ways, because um, I'm talking to you from Sydney, and it's quarter past 9 p.m. on a Friday night in Sydney, and it's quarter past 8 a.m. Uh, in Rio de Janeiro. Um, and speaking of technology, we're kind of here to talk a little bit about how we kind of, I suppose, connected, which is through uh, a common interest in CGMs and all things type 1 diabetes. Yes. Yes. I, I love technology. So what do you want to speak about um, about this? I'm happy because I'm so grateful to have the technology in my life to treat diabetes. Yeah, me too, actually. Uh, I don't, whenever I do think about it, I'm always like, wow, I can see the impact because my HbA1c has gone down from 7.9 to 6.5 from wearing a freestyle Libre. Um, Yay. And this is the first interview that uh, we've done in a series called The Dialogues. And um, we've chosen you because you're a good friend of not just a patch. And um, you also wear a Medtronic. And we have lots of followers who wear the Medtronic. And I know there's lots, lots of people have lots of questions, regardless of what stage they're at. Like if you're a, like brand new to the Medtronic or if you've been wearing it for a long time, I think there's still a lot to learn. Like I still learn stuff from um, listening to people talk about their Libre or going online and, and engaging in communities. I learn stuff about my Libre, even though I've been wearing it for two years. So um, how did you... How did you first arrive at the, at the, at the uh, so tell us a bit about the Medtronic and, and how you first arrived there. So um, I use Medtronic pumps um, since 2007. I heard about when I was 12 years old and my doctor said that I, I need to use an, an insulin pump because my control was not so good. I was, um, uh, yeah, my hormones was wasn't so good so yeah. it was my my age at the time and I didn't oh, want please. to talk about it 12 okay. so, and at the time I didn't want to talk about it or think about it because I didn't want to have uh, something stuck in my body and with with um with this yeah. and six months later I thought about it and I okay I can do this because it will be better for me, for my control, for my for my future. So I I said to her, okay, let's do this. And I put this pump. Do you remember Not why? Were, were there other options back then, CGM-wise, or was it the only no. CGM available in Brazil? So it wasn't CGM. It was only the pump, only the, the insulin oh, yeah. pump. Okay, so you were still um, finger have, pricking? Have, yes, yes. Yeah. I... um. I used CGM for five years only. I used insulin pump for almost 15 and CGM okay. for five. So I used okay. insulin pump without CGM for 10 years because we didn't have CGM in Brazil until 2014 or 2013. I don't remember when exactly the CGM came to Brazil, but it was before Libre. And do you remember, was it the only one available, the only CGM available? Is that why yes. you've got it? Yes. Yeah. Yes. This is the only one until today. We, we don't have Dexcom, one other one, only this okay. one. And we have Libre, but Libre is not CGM. It's flash glucose monitor monitoring. It's no, yeah, I, I use the term CGM only because it's just a generic term and everyone uses it. But yeah, you're right. It's not officially continuous, is it? Mm-hmm. Yes, uh, it's a, a little difference, but it's not so different. So if you can uh, uh, scan all the time, it's Yeah, GM, if you just hold so. it here like this all the time, 
Yeah. Uh, you do yeah, it it's his year. And I think yeah. there's a Libre 2 coming. <laughs> the Libre 2 is going to be more continuous or you can attach something, right? And that will give you yeah. a continuous signal. So it's a, it's a, yeah, minor, yeah. It's a minor difference. Yeah, uh, in Brazil we have the meow meow. It's the the thing that you you attack to do a CGM, but it's not uh, approved in Brazil. So we we use it without being approved. But we have this this um, this other one, and and that's it. <laughs> I don't think meow meow or any of those like third party attachments will ever be approved anywhere because. They're kind of unofficial and, and you'd need like Abbott to endorse them, right? And they would never do that. Yeah, I don't think so too. So, uh, yeah, um, I don't think so too. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Um, so the difference, I mean, is uh, I suppose you can compare the difference between having your CGM now, your Medtronic sensor, um, versus not having one but i suppose you can't compare it to other sensors right because it's the only one you've had okay yeah i i can because i know how it works but um i don't think i don't think it's so different because uh, this magic because this medtronic sensor that i use yeah. it connects with my pump and my pump can change my doses and for me this is this is the perfection in my treatment because i don't have to think every time and it prevents my lows and with another cgms that are not connected to another pumps they they don't do this so for me this is the best one because of this we have the control iq that does this that connects with Dexcon and everything. It's best. Yeah. It, it, it's better and it's good actually. Yeah. And but we don't have these in Brazil, so we don't we, we don't think about it because we don't have this here, and it's very expensive to bring to Brazil. So the Dexcom's Corner, expensive. Yeah. yeah, it's very expensive. More expensive than all of Medtronic. This, no, all of these is it's expensive. Medtronic mm -hmm. too very expensive but to bring something from another country to brazil it's i yeah i don't know i think it's too much and it's way more than this because this we can actually fight for it in court and try to get this um the um, these things the the cannula the catheter and yeah. other things for free we can try to or we can buy yeah, the Brazilian healthcare system is a whole other interview, I think. <laughs> yes, yes. In Not fact, yet. the Brazilian <laughs> uh, the Brazilian culture itself and actually Brazil, fascinating country. Yes. <laughs> uh, let's not oh, get onto Bolsonaro uh, though right now. Okay, okay. I was just about to say that uh, our healthcare system, uh, it's in theory, it's amazing because everyone gets uh, health, health for free. And, but in, yeah, it doesn't work so, so good, but in theory, it's, my, it's wonderful, in theory. Let's, 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 yeah, well, let's, yeah, let's, let's, I, let's talk lady. about, I'm, I health, I, I'm fascinated by healthcare systems. Um, okay. Well, I don't know if fascinated <laughs> is the right word, but I'm, I, I'm interested in healthcare systems anyway, but, um, so if there was, say, three things that you were going to, uh, someone was like thinking about what CGM to get or someone had just started on Medtronic, like three things you tell your best friend if like, you know, like, for example, with the Libre, um, you know, I've learned lots of things like about wearing patches, um, you know, about like how to catch highs and lows. So all those little tips, what, what are the kind of tips that you, I wonder if they're the same actually, the sort of tips, the big, the main things that help you get the most out of your Medtronic um, CGM sensor. Okay, so the first one is, um, you need to prick your finger and check your glucose 
every 12 hours because if you don't do this, your CGM will discalibrate and you won't measure your blood glucose. You need to do this, so yeah. don't forget it. Yeah, yeah. Well. don't forget to drink your to, to yeah. check your glucose with your glucometer. Yeah. Um, the second, you don't know this that I'm going to say because you don't use a pump, but you need to always, always have with you a syringe because if your cannula, um, how can I say this? There's like this inside your yeah. body. I don't know right. the name of this. Yeah. Yeah. Or if you rip it out, you yeah. have to have something to inject insulin. So you have to okay. wear a syringe all the time with you. I have one here. <laughs> oh, so you don't have, um, you don't carry like a, like, yeah, what, that's, that's really interesting. No. You don't carry normal insulin. Yeah, I have, no, no, I, I carry um, a syringe a because it's, yeah, it's wow. easier because insulin pan, and insulin pan, it's, uh, it's too big, it's too much insulin in there. So I use a syringe because I, when this happens, when the cannula, um, it's done, I, I don't know the name, when it does like this. So uh, bend. When it does like this, bends, yeah, okay, bend, thank right. you. When it bends, uh, I need one or two units of insulin. So I don't need a whole pen. I just need a little of insulin until I get a new cannula in my body. And let me see. Um, oh, the third one. If you use a CGM, Medtronic CGM, don't ignore the alarms because you get too crazy when you ignore them because they will say, you're high, you're high, yeah, you're yeah, high. Yeah. And then if yeah. you don't listen, you start screaming, you're high. So <laughs> it's crazy, it's crazy. So It'd don't cool ignore it. Do yeah, just listen to it and okay, thank you. I'm going to do something, okay. <laughs> That's brilliant. Um, you're the best, Beatrice. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day. Have a nice day.